Hi there, everyone. My name is Ben. I'm working with um, Mike and Chobi in the Health Systems Collaborative. So rheumatic heart disease is a potentially fatal disease of childhood, and it's entirely, entirely preventable. And in fact, in many countries like England, it's been completely eliminated. And we use it as a disease as a bit of a marker for how a health system is functioning. And that's because it can work across the entire array of a health system, right from having healthy homes and healthy hygiene practices to complex immunological acute rheumatic fever processes right up until intense, pretty serious heart surgery as well. And one of the biggest challenges with rheumatic heart disease is the detection of it. And back home in Australia, we have some of the highest rates in some of our remote, particularly indigenous communities. And we often have children that are presenting far too late already in heart failure. So the proposed solution to this is having a task sharing screening program where we train up local community health workers to be able to use handheld devices to actually detect the rheumatic heart disease and then have remote expert reviewers uh, who are able to actually diagnose the disease. But one of the biggest challenges with this that we face, particularly in Australia, is that it's a big country. It's really big. And each of the communities where rheumatic heart disease is most prevalent are entirely different. So I'm looking at all the implementation factors so that we can move this novel idea from discrete research projects into a fully fledged public health intervention across the entire country where rheumatic heart disease is. So part of that is using co-design work, using theory of change work. Right now I'm doing a realist evaluation where I'm looking specifically at this task sharing process and how to integrate it successfully into various clinics across the country. And finally, we're going to be looking at well, can this task sharing program and this task sharing idea actually be used more broadly as a solution to Australia's rural health workforce crisis?